Quilters Newsletter TV, The Quilters Community, is brought to you by Handy Quilter, designed by a quilter for quilters. Sulky, express yourself with sulky and create with confidence. Brother, it's so easy with brother at your side. And Quilt Cut, easy fabric cutting for quilters. Hi, and welcome to Quilters Newsletter TV, The Quilters Community. I'm Mary-Kate Carpetris, and with me for this episode is Gigi Kalsa. Hi, Gigi. Hi. We're both associate editors for Quilters Newsletter, and as a result, we work on a lot of patterns. We do. And we're working on a lot of patterns this week. That's actually. right. Um, because of just our familiarity with pattern writing and pattern editing, there are certain mathematical, and don't get scared by the word mathematical, but there are certain um, dimensions and certain little seam allowances that we're familiar with just because we use them so often. And we want to talk about some of those things today because if you know the basics, just a couple of little things, it will really open up a world of design possibilities for you to take blocks and make them your own. And Gigi's going to show us some examples of things that you can do and, and principles that you can apply. Yeah, as long as you just keep these few couple rules in mind, you can really expand your design repertoire, as it were. Mm -hmm. You can... Um, Resizing blocks has lots of different, you know, there's lots of reasons you might want to do it. Mm -hmm. If you want to use larger prints, you can make a much larger block, or they just sew up really quickly. If you're in a rush and you need something done tomorrow, if you quadruple the size of a block, you can really get a quilt done fast. Right. A baby mm -hmm. quilt, baby shower exactly. coming up next week. And, exactly. And it's, it'll be something really unique, and you can take advantage of your stash because you can size certain patches, maybe make some adjustments, and, and, and Gigi's going to show us some examples of that later on in the episode. So mm -hmm. let's start out with what you started with. Okay, so the block I chose to illustrate this example is from our April-May issue. It's uh, the quilt called Let's Dance by Bev Getchell. And it's a really cute block just because um, you, it's a basic nine patch, but there's there's some interest in it. And mm -hmm. you can, um, you know, do just the way that she did it, or you can change the size and use different fabrics mm -hmm. and come up with some really cool designs. It's a 12-inch block as That's published, right. which is a basic standard size that we're all very used to in quilt world. Um, and a 12-inch nine patch divides out pretty easily. But as we can see here, both in the magazine as well as the block that we have in front of us, and this is a 12-inch finished block. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, half square triangle units and some quarter square triangles as well. Yes, and that's why I chose this one because um, these rules are universal for any half square triangle patches or quarter square, quarter square triangle patches. Mm -hmm. You can apply this to any size and the results will be perfect. Right. So basically, um, we've got your square, you're just your basic square. Mm -hmm. We've got your half square triangles, which um, we're looking at the finished size of the short side of the triangle. And your um, quarter square triangles, we're looking at the long side of the triangle. Mm -hmm. And that's the finished size that we are concerned with. Those are the, the finished sizes that you use to base what you need to cut your, fat, your patches at. If that made any sense. See, that, that's where you start so that you know how big you want to cut your patches. Yes. So each of the uh, units finishes at four inches in a 12 inch block. And so your cutting size, as uh, listed right here, you know, you cut your A at four and a half, you cut your B's at five and a quarter, and you cut your C's at seven, four and seven eighths. And basically, what we need to do before we want to change the size of the blocks is subtract the seam allowance or the cutting size, mm -hmm. you know, the, the um, increments that we add to make the cutting size work out. Mm -hmm. So for the A, you sub simply subtract half an inch. That's easy. Two quarter inch seam allowances. Yes, one on each side. So then subtracting half an inch, quarter inch all the way around, mm -hmm. we get four inches. And if we want to double that, we'll just multiply the four by two, and then we'll add the seam allowance onto the eight that right. results. And same thing for these guys, except whenever you see this crisscross, that means it's a quarter square triangle. And the seam allowance for that, you cut those one and one quarter inch bigger than your finished size. Mm -hmm. And and that's standard no matter how big the finished size of your quarter square yes. triangle is going to be. Is you're always going to cut it one and a quarter inches larger than the finished size of the long side of the, the triangle. The long side, exactly. And for the... Um, half square triangles, you always add 7 eighths of an inch mm -hmm. to the finished size. And so 
that's what we've got here. So all of these basically finish at four inches. It makes it really simple for this pattern. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's fine. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I simply multiplied all of my finished sizes by two to get eight, and then I add my seam allowance back on, mm -hmm. and then I have my new patch sizes. So for the A, it will be eight and a half. Mm -hmm. For the B, it will be nine and a quarter. Mm -hmm. And for the C, it will be eight and seven eighths. Mm -hmm. And let's see what that looks like. Let's see what that looks like. Let's move this little guy over, and then we'll bring in. So this is literally a twice as big. Literally twice as a big. A 24 inch block. And yeah, so it finishes at 24. That's a good size. That's a really good size. Yeah. And it's, I'm sure it sewed together just as quickly, almost as quickly as a 12 inch block. It did, yes. It sewed together really quickly. And it got me thinking that if I made one more, of these 24 inch blocks, I would have a 48 inch width. But if I made two more blocks, I'd have a 48 inch square. Mm -hmm. I said, hey, that sounds great. So let me do that. So, let's... And so again, then these were all taken from your stash? And... Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. So um, you'll see this one looks a lot different. And one of the benefits of making your blocks much bigger is you can use these really large prints mm -hmm. that lots of manufacturers are coming out with these really amazing, unique prints, but they're kind of large and tricky to use. Yeah, they get lost. The, the whole design behind it would get lost maybe in a four inch patch or something exactly. like that. Exactly. Imagine if I cut this, you know, a four inch square, you, it would be, it might look kind of weird, but it might be really cool. So maybe you want to try that. Yes, but if you want to take advantage of the, the, the large scale, this is a great opportunity to do that. Right. And so I went ahead and made, you know, two more blocks so I could sew them all together to make a 48 inch quilt. And I've got two with black background and two with this really wild geometric background. Mm -hmm. And you'll see how, you know, I've got these kind of fun prints and they really show off they do. very well. They do, I love it. It's great. So let's talk a little bit more. Let's talk about the math again. Okay. And, and really kind of. Yeah, so what if you here. don't want to simply double the size of your block? Right. What if it's something that where the math is a little bit more difficult to do in your head? Exactly. Or you want to, you know, bring it up to, say, from a 12 to, say, a 15 inch. Say, block. yeah, say you want it to fit it on this bed that you have and it needs to be 15 inch block and that's the only thing that's going to work for you. So I've got a little formula that will help you out. And um, this was shared with me by Terry Kreisen, who um, we worked with mm -hmm. in the past, and she gave me this little shortcut and I found it really, really helpful. So I'd like to share it. So it's the same idea. You have to deduct your seam allowance before you alter the size. But basically, what we'll do, we'll use our four inch block as an example. Mm -hmm. So we want our current patch cut size will be four and a half. And we'll subtract our seam allowance. So we'll subtract half an inch. Divide, or multiply that by the new finished block size. So we want it to finish at 15, so times 15. And then we'll divide that by the current block size. Okay. So that's divided by 12. And then we'll add our seam allowance back on there. And that will be your new block size, mm -hmm. which I've done on my calculator. Yes. It will be five and a half inches. That will be the size that you want to cut that center patch. Exactly. And the same thing, it will work for this patch. It will work for your quarter square triangles. And if you wanted to do rectangles or anything, you just have to do each side separately. Right, so with this block, because it's a modified nine patch, we know that we want each unit to finish at five inches now. Mm -hmm. So it's easy That's to right. take that five inch finished size and say, okay, five plus seven eighths for the half square triangles, five plus one and a quarter for the quarter square triangles. Mm -hmm. But if you were doing a block where you had, you know, rectangles or different. Yeah, or um, even multiple ratios. small pieces, you mm -hmm. know, it, it's really helpful. And as long as you apply this to every patch consistently, you will have no problems mm -hmm. changing the size of your block to any size. Mm -hmm. And it's also a great way to start out doing a little math before you start cutting your fabric because bring it, let's, let's see the calculator for a second. So um, we don't have to show it on camera, but if we want to do, Sorry. say we wanted it to take the block from 12 to 16 inches. Uh -huh. it sounds like a nice round number. Yeah. Um, so it's on. So we uh, four and a half, we'll subtract our seam allowance, four times um, 
So your new 16 finished block size 16 divided by 12, 12 is five and a third. And we'll add our half inch seam allowance onto that. That's but not something I want to try to cut rotary. Exactly. That's you can if you really, 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 really want to, but why? <laughs> it's just an annoying um, dimension to try to cut with a rotary shape. So this will help you, um, you know, see any stumbling blocks before mm -hmm. you start cutting that fabric up. But if you know, if you have your heart set on a 16 inch block, you can always draw your patch out full size on graph paper, add your seam allowance and you're good to go. And you can use it as a template. As a template, Ex mm -hmm. ab absolutely. Um, and these are just things that you can plan ahead for. So, and this really will, like we said, it will free up a lot of um, de design opportunities for you. Yeah, and that's what happened when I, I was thinking about my 48 inch quilt and I was like, well, you know, I doubled the size of the block. What if I quadrupled the size of the block? Wouldn't that be fun? And it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have her 48 inch um, block, 48 inch quilt up on our design wall. So we're gonna go over to our design wall and take a closer look at it now. So now we're taking a look at your 48 inch block yep. right here. So tell us about it. Yeah, so I had a bunch of back quarters of this really cute jungle print that I wanted to use. So I just went ahead and multiplied, you know, the four finished sizes, four inches, multiplied by four is 16. So this center block finishes at 16 inches. Mm -hmm. And I pretty much did the same block, except for you'll notice in this corner, I did two quarter square triangles. And that's basically because that's all the fabric I had. Okay. I could get uh, four of these quarter square triangles out of a single fat quarter but I can only get two half square triangles out of a single fat quarter. Right. So I needed half a yard for these larger triangles. And basically, it's just a, you know, a little bit of a remix. Um, I think the jungle print really looks good mm -hmm. in this really large scale. And it's another mm -hmm. example of how you can mix and match uh, block units and use them to your advantage and just, again, let yourself try some design. Yeah, Even yeah. Even though it's really simple and it feels like you're just sort of mixing things around. I mean, this is how people start off designing their own this quilts. This is how people design quilts. Mm -hmm. I mean, once you know the basics, you can really move everything around mm -hmm. until it's just the way you want. Mm -hmm. and I, so now I have a baby quilt. And speaking of just the way you want, let's take a look at your backing. Yes, well, of, oh, I, I finished this so quickly. I cut it and sewed it in maybe an hour, maybe a little bit more. But it went so quickly, I was like, hey, I can make it back. Same day, all right. So, of course, it couldn't be just a piece of fabric. So let's take a look at your back. Let's. Okay. Your backing is almost as complex as would be for the front for some people. Yeah, I mean, I used Very some of the cute. same fabrics and um, some of the same units as well. So, um, these are the quarter square triangles that I had on the front. This mm -hmm. is the half square triangle. And I just, you know, added some sashing, a little cute fussy cut mm -hmm. in the center. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I have a front and a back. All I need to do is layer it and quilt it and, and it's again, ready to go. Knowing some of these basics can open up like when you want to not improvise, but you want to come up with something original that suits your needs. Right. I just put these up on my design wall and arranged them till I liked it and sewed it together. Excellent. It Excellent. took another hour. Well, I can't wait to see the finished quilt, so. I'll it finish be, it soon. I can't wait to see it. Well, maybe we'll put it up on our blog. Okay, That would yeah. be great. So be sure to check the Quilters Newsletter blog, um, and be sure to check the Quilters Newsletter website and all of our other episodes on Quilters Newsletter TV, the Quilters community. Thanks so much for joining us today. Take care. Bye-bye. Quilters Newsletter TV, the Quilters community, is brought to you by Handy Quilter, designed by a quilter for quilters. Selkie. Express yourself with sulky and create with confidence. Brother, it's so easy with brother at your side. And Quilt Cut, easy fabric cutting for quilters.